My name is Paul Merlucky, and I'm a virtual reality enthusiast and the designer of The Rift. Games are something I'm really passionate about, and even more than playing games, I'm passionate about bringing games to the next level. What we're doing at Oculus is trying to create the world's best virtual reality headset designed very specifically for gaming. Where this all started was in my parents' garage in Long Beach, California, and I was interested in stereoscopic displays, I was interested in head mounts, and the problem was there was nothing that gave me the experience that I wanted, the matrix where I can plug in and actually be in the game. And I was sure that somewhere out there there was something that I could buy, and the reality is there's nothing. I set out to change that with the Oculus Rift. The magic that sets the Rift apart is immersive stereoscopic 3D rendering, a massive field of view, and ultra low latency head tracking. John Carmack is one of the best developers in the world. The Doom, Quake, Commander Keen. Carmack saw some of my work. That's originally when he reached out to me. For a certain segment of the population, the hacker maker crowd, this is going to be awesomely cool to work on. What I've got now is, I honestly think the best VR demo probably the world's ever seen. Because we're certainly going to take this into our future projects. So. We're getting involved in Oculus now because we see an incredible opportunity here for game developers to experience something new. The Rift is taking years of virtual reality research and putting it into a package that everyone can use. So I recently had a chance in person to check out the Oculus headset and needless to say, I'm a believer. Uh, even as a prototype, what I saw was extremely promising. We're extremely excited here at Epic Games to get the Unreal Engine integrated with Oculus. And I think the possibilities for the games are extremely exciting and I'm thrilled for the whole project. Well, I gotta say, I, I just tried the Oculus prototype and it was such an immersive, amazing experience that we pretty quickly, like within an hour, decided to get behind this project. I got to meet Palmer Lucky and try out the Oculus Rift. And I have to say it was a very exciting moment. Could be the beginning of a whole new industry that leads us eventually to having true augmentation all the time, every place. And I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to program with it and to see what we can do. It looks incredibly exciting. If anybody's going to tackle these set of hard problems, we think that Palmer's going to do it. So we'd strongly encourage you to support this Kickstarter. In the past, I've looked at these VR headsets and head-mounted displays, and this is the first one that I've seen that I was truly impressed with. There's a lot of great head-mounted displays out there, but they're all really, really expensive, up to over $100,000. What the Rift does is it makes a high-end virtual reality experience available to the average gamer. So most consumer head-mounted displays have a diagonal field of view of about 30 or 40 degrees. You see a really small image way off in the distance, and it doesn't make you feel like you're there. With the Oculus Rift, you get a diagonal field of view of 110 degrees. That means you're not looking at a screen anymore. You actually feel like you're inside of the world. You don't see the screen when you put it on your eyes, and that just changes the whole ballgame. One of the biggest problems with virtual reality up to this point is latency. The benefit of the Rift is that it's designed to be really, really low latency. So rather than looking like this and you turn your head and then it follows, it actually follows with your view no matter what you do. There are two reasons why this is possible now with Oculus, is that the displays are very high density and very lightweight and are very small, and the sensors that sense your head position and your turning in your virtual environment are also very low cost. The reason we're using Kickstarter is so that we can get these dev kits into the hands of developers as fast as possible. That way they can try it for themselves and start integrating support into their games and engines. We really need developer feedback so that we can make the consumer version of this even more incredible than it already is. I mean, the greatest decay is simply about a great developer experience where they get a really functional piece of software which is efficient and scales with their needs. So for indie developers, doing this Kickstarter, really getting it out there early, not waiting till we have a consumer version, allows them to get started as well. If you want to be one of the first to try the Rift, grab a dev kit. So join the revolution and help us change gaming forever.